All right, so uh, you know, for the past few days, I guess, or a week or so, I've been doing these little uh, virtual box tutorials, and the virtual box version I'm using is 4.0, right? And a newer one came out not too long ago, but I'm not using that yet. And one of the reasons why is because I've been wanting to try this uh, uh, webOS, right? And um, you know, I've tried Androids and Apples, you know, the iPads and stuff like that, and they're they're all cool. And I haven't physically, you know, held this tablet or used it at all. I've I just seen you know videos of it and stuff like that. And since it's free to download and run in a VM, you know, I, I figured, you know, why not? And um, the thing about it is it calls for VirtualBox 4.0, right? And it says not 4.1. So if you're using 4.1, I don't think you can, I guess it doesn't work, you know. So I have a video already on how to install, you know, 4.0. I use Ubuntu tweak. If not, just, I guess, use a PPA, right? And if you don't know this already, to install PPAs, you know, just uh, this bold section right here. All right, copy that. Copy this little bold section, like I said, and um, let me minimize this. You know, go to your software center, of course, and go to Edit Software Sources. You know, type your password. Right, and um, other software. Click Add and uh, paste it in there. Right, and when you close it, it should reload your software sources, I guess, and then uh, you should be able to install it. But uh, before I get into that. I've read, where is it at, where is it at, that it calls for uh, Sun Java 6, right? So, like how it says, sudo get install Sun Java 6, if, it, if that doesn't work, you're probably going to have to enable your, your partner's repository, right? So, the same, the same thing, like I said, you know, get into your software sources right here, where it says other software, you, you'll, it'll say canonical partners, just uh, check these two check boxes, then again, you know, just close it off and, and reload it. And you should be able to install the uh, Sun Java, right? Just by typing this into your terminal or copy and pasting, co copy and pasting it. <clears throat> so once you do all that, then you know, of course, just uh, sudo apt-get install VirtualBox 4.0. And if you're running 64-bit system, you know, copy this into your terminal as well. If not, then you should be okay. Um, this is this is like if you installed this previously. I guess if you're running a, an older version right here of these um, web OS, you have to run that those two lines. But since I don't have that installed, that um, you know I'm, I'm okay. So this is the actual download right here. So if you're running 32-bit, you know download 32-bit, 64-bit, download 64-bit of course, and this as well. All right, and right at the moment I'm downloading it, and I notice their servers are kind of slow. Okay. Where is it at? Here it is. It says I have 19 minutes, but it's actually been about, it's been a while already. It's been about a good 45 minutes to an hour, so it's going to take a take some time. So just let that download, you know, into your downloads directory, and I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right now, and when I come back, I'll install it, and we'll go from there. So anyways, uh, I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, so everything's all done, you know, downloading, right? And um, before I get into the actual installation of those two packages, I, I, I overlooked something. So right here where it says install, you know, Sun Java, right? Uh, like I said before, you had difficulty installing it. Make sure those, uh, those, those partner repositories are enabled. And uh, after you get done doing that, you actually need to set it to default, right? So there's a line right here, sudo uh, update alternatives uh, config Java. So just copy that and launch your uh, terminal right click paste uh, hit enter and the one you're looking for is the user lib uh, jvm java 6 sun uh, gre bin java right which is basically the short line right here um, I already went ahead and set it at number two but it, it was originally at zero so pretty much you know find that that line and select the corresponding number which is two and just type two and hit enter and then you should be good then just go ahead and do it like like I said before anyways so these two packages are done downloading and these two are uh, these two commands are to to install the packages if you want I believe you can actually just uh, you know just double click and install it I'm just gonna go ahead and do what, what it says here to use the command so um, well for one thing if you're not too sure how to get to the directory of these two packages right here so I downloaded these packages into my to my uh, downloads folder right here. And so here they are right here. 
so my home folder and my downloads and these are the two packages so to get to get there from your command line from your terminal right so open up your terminal and just type ls to list so those are the the packages i'm sorry the the, uh, the folders in my home folder right see music pictures podcasts whatever templates anyways that's that so to get into there to my downloads type cd space uh, d o w if you want you can hit tab to auto complete there you go hit enter and now i'm in here right and just type ls again if you want to see and those are the packages see one two and there's those two so going to minimize that copy this first line paste enter type your password and there it goes so that might take a little bit anyways when that's done installing of course then go ahead and uh, you know copy and paste this line to there as well and just do the same thing hit enter and and uh, should be good to go and I believe this is the, that big package, that 500 meg one or whatever. So it's going to take a while. So maybe I should pause it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop it. So back, be back in a couple seconds. Okay, so it's all done. You know, I installed both, both uh, packages already. So it should be good to go. And to actually run the VM, um, it's not like, like you know, VirtualBox where you just, you know, click on it and get it going. I think with the first... Um, well, what I've read, you're supposed to do this first. Uh, type palm, P A L M dash emulator, right? And just uh, hit enter. Oh, there it is. And uh, go ahead and start, I guess. See what happens. There it goes. And um, I'm not too sure how much I can actually use it because I do. Well, my keyboard doesn't have a right control key, right? So if you're not familiar with VirtualBox, like when you click inside the VM, the actual uh, the OS, your mouse goes in there, right? And um, hit escape or whatever. Anyways, and if I do that, I can't release my mouse. Um, you have to press right control, you know, for it to, to release, and I can't do that right now. So let's see what happens. Oh wow, it's probably slow because of the you know the desktop recorder. There we go. I guess that's a good sign. And there it is. It says just type. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my mouse in here. If it crashes, I mean, well, not if it crashes. I hope I can. Oh, okay. That's cool. I don't have to worry about that then. Okay. So I guess I have some type of, I guess, a guest edition installed or something, I guess. But uh, what's this? Touch that. There's a web. A virtual keyboard. I wonder if my keyboard works. Yeah, it works. We can type like uh, YouTube, I guess. YouTube. Right on. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> so now what? I just touch it or click it. So the mouse wheel zooms in and out. So I take it there's no flash. Yeah, no flash. So upgrade, download, upgrade, whatever. Huh. <clears throat> well, let's try something else because I know. Well, if you hold the mouse, it, it uh, I guess like with your finger, you can drag the, the image around or something. See, like this. But let's not do that right now. Let's try something else. Uh, photos. I guess. 
There he goes. Facebook photo bucket emulator. All right, cool. So if you if you have a Facebook account, I guess it'll go out there and fetch your images for you. Uh, same thing with photo bucket. So let me. So what is this? Can I go like this, or do I go up? There it goes. So that's pretty cool. Um, your calendar, I guess. Again, but it seems like you can't really do too much with it so far unless you have some type of a uh, you know account with you know Facebook or Yahoo or, or anything. So let's see. I, I kind of get it. You know, I understand. You know, it's it's mobile. You know. That's pretty cool. What's this up here? Your battery, or I guess your Wi-Fi. What's this? The brightness. Airplane mode, mute sound. Oh, not bad. It's a little different. Um, this is my first time using it, so I can't really go in depth with it. You know, exactly telling you how it works. So I think I'll save that for another video. So. Pretty much, I just wanted to show you how to get it up and going. It was an experience for me as well because I never tried it before. So, anyways, um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll I'll continue on with this again. You know, I'll, I'll I'm gonna keep using it for the later on. You know, today. So, anyway, see you guys later.